All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So we made it to Joshua Tree. Look at this place. This is beautiful. By the time you see this video, we will have left, but we stayed here for about four nights, and we stayed on free camping land right outside of the park, but we did venture into the park one day to see these beautiful scenes, and somebody wants to say hello. Hey, everybody. This is Chloe. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the video. That's right. Thank you, Chloe. I love it when you take part in the videos. Now, later on the video, I'll show you the new campsite we found that is south of Quartzsite in Kofa National Refuge. But in the meantime, let's cue some tunes and enjoy the scenes of Joshua Tree. <laughs> So we left the park and got back to the campsite. And who is that guy sitting there in the black hat? That is Ray from Van Life Rocks. He drove in and spent two nights with us. Enjoyed meeting Ray. He is as nice in person as he is on his YouTube channel. Just a great guy all the way around. And that was Kevin sitting next to him from the No Mock Experience. He's the one flying the drone. Now let's go catch up with that drone and get some beautiful drone footage. So this is just something I thought would be a little bit different because usually when someone shows drones, it's always the camera that's on the drone and not a camera aimed at the drone. So I just wanted you to see, you know, how these little devices fly, how nimble they are. Look at it hovering over the Matty wagon, coming in for the kill. But I think Kevin's got this down pat. I mean, he's pretty accurate with this, this machine. He's just hovering it around, and I'm going to go up here and get a better view of it here in just a second so you can see it. There we go. See the propeller spinning? That is just fascinating to me. Maybe I'll get a drone one day. But I just thought, you know, this is a different angle that most people don't see of drones. Usually you're just seeing what the camera on the drone captures. So I hope this is a, a little bit interesting to you, just seeing the, the way the drone flies. And Kevin's going to catch it with his hand here in just a minute. you got to check this out. This is <laughs> it's so cool. The last drone that Kevin flew was with me in Tennessee, and he crashed into the river. But he's got a lot better at it now. Did you see that? Okay, so here's the scene from uh, the park entrance. You know, you always have to get that shot when you're pulling in. You got to get in front of the sign, do the shot, pull the Matty wagon up there. Got a good memorabilia piece of photograph there. And then Chloe pulled up. We got both vans in the shot here. And I don't know. I might use that as the thumbnail. I don't know yet. We'll see. I like to wing it. Now, speaking of winging it, we decided to break camp in Joshua Tree and head back closer to Quartzsite since we both have packages coming in. And look at this place we found. We have at least a thousand acres to ourselves here. This is in Kofa uh, Refuge. 
And for those of you thinking that since van life has gotten so popular, um, and it has, that maybe, just maybe, you're never going to be able to find a place out by yourself anymore. Well, it's still possible. As we speak right now, it's still possible. You just got to be willing and able to drive in many miles of washboard road to get back to the good stuff. And a lot of people just don't want to take the effort to do that. I don't blame them. It's a lot of wear and tear on your vehicle. It was a slow ride in here. But we don't have any neighbors. We got it all to ourselves, And that's Kofa. I'm going to zoom in here. Give you a better shot of the mountain ridge. We got here at a good time of the day. The sun's starting to set. The angle of the shadows is pretty good for video right now. And after we make the video, we're going to relax for the rest of the day and just enjoy this beautiful nature scene. One other thing I'd like to point out is when you first pull onto this road, it says no camping beyond this point. Well, it's a little confusing. They just don't want you camping out near the main highway. You've got to drive in about five miles, and then there's another sign that says camping permitted. So I think the first sign kind of scares everybody off, and they turn around and go somewhere else. But we took a chance and took a risk and followed those washed out roads for many miles, and it paid off. We're going to stay here and enjoy the solitude for a few days before we go back to Quartzsite and get involved with all the crowds and all the goings-on that's happening in January in Quartzsite. So in the meantime, this is a great place to chill down and enjoy some peace and quiet before we get back into the crowds of Quartzsite. But I do appreciate everyone stopping by. I hope you take care, be well, and smash that bell.